Hello everyone, Andreas here, back with another video on my tower defense game, and this episode I will show you how I didn't thought the um, the AI movement for um, for the mobs in the game. So um, it's not really AI; it's more like a, an instruction pattern. So um, let me go ahead and open the file that uh, actually has the info information about a level. So um, in the first here, these these two are the coordinates that they should start at. So these are the coordinates the um, the um, the game will spawn the monsters at at start. So you can see here it's zero on the x axis and then the uh, 384 on the uh, y axis. So let's open the calculator. Let's see 384 divided by oh by 32 should should be that I think. 384 divided by 32. That's 12. So that's on the 12th tile. And um, then we see here these are the uh, amount of waves. And uh, can I actually remember what that is? Oh yeah, that's the um, the direction they should start off in. So in this level it would be uh, south, I think. Yeah. So um, and here's the um, the um, level itself, this is level one, and these numbers represent a different tile. So zero is grass, and six is uh, horizontal road, and so on and so forth. Um, and down here we have the instructions. So it first reads all the instructions here and says, I want to go one, 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 one. So one is east. So it's going to go east for six tiles, and then it's going to go down two tiles, let's go a lot more east, and let's go a bit up, and it's going to go left, and it's going to go down, and it's going to go uh, left, and it's going to go up. So, um, here's, it's like this. Um, this is up, and this would be left, that would be right, and down would be two. So, um, this is like the compass that's following. It starts with north, east, south, west. Um, so I'm gonna let's go and show in the code here real quick. I think that would be in uh, IO save here. So yeah, as you can see here, it uh, reads uh, every uh, number until it gets to four because for four is like a terminator for now there's no more move, move or something else unless it says um the, this number is four it's going to continue on and add these to the move orders in the level and move orders is a real of integers that um, the monster will read from so they know where to go and in the monster itself it's going to move um you can see here let's find the move method here um <clears throat> it has a thing called tile timer, so you can see it moves. It's gonna move 32 in one direction, and then um, it's g and if it's done, if it's the the tile timer is more than 32, which means it's moved 32 pixels, it's gonna uh, get the next move order, and that's basically gonna set the tile timer to zero, and you know it's gonna get the next move order so I can move in a different direction to 32 pixels and then guess the next move order. So the, uh, the way it works in the level editor is like this. Let's go launch that. Okay here so once we set this uh, start position you can see that's the um, in the level here. That would be these two and times by 32 because that's the tile size. Uh, and then we set start sending mob path. Um, we, it actually records which keys we press. So it would be, um, I'm pointing at the screen. I should be pointing with the cursor. So one, one, uh, two, two, one, one. And we also need to set a monster start direction. So that would be east as well. So it's going to start going this way. So that's basically how it works. Uh, it's not finding it out by itself. Uh, I give the instructions of how it should move. And um, yeah, that's basically how it works because I got a comment uh, asking if I could do a video about it. So it's nothing complicated, but uh, if I found that it was, I didn't need to do any AI because it was so simple movement. So I thought this was the best way. 
So um, yeah, I hope you like uh, like this video. If I have any questions or requests, just leave it in the comment section. I'll always read my comments. So uh, until next time, have a good one.